What's up? I'm going to show y'all how to pimp your HD2. You know, a lot of people complain about the marketplace, say, yeah, it's limited apps in there, but Windows Mobile isn't new, so they got a lot of apps out there you got to search other than uh, the app market. Let me show you my device, show you a few things I did. It's a plain home screen. I got the window. I don't know if you can see it, the battery counter on there instead of a battery meter. Show me the percentage. See, I got the whole customized home screen. Shout out to my boy, Fine Rogers, put me on this, uh, I think the app called SBP Mobile Shell, something like that. Basically changed the whole interface up. See, I put all my apps up there. The time, weather date couple apps in there google search bar up there basically it's how it look it's a launch screen show you your recently used apps you can scroll through that click program see all the rest of them we got a couple cool widgets too man got a, I think a facebook widget twitter widget like you see this calendar, clock, different clocks, analog clock, digital clock, a few different weather widgets. Hold on, let's see right quick. Media player widget, phone, email, voicemail, SMS widget, a bunch of stuff. Wireless manager widget, contact, shortcuts, picture frame. It's pretty cool. And got the 3D mode built in. See, just press that button. Switch it around wherever you want to go. Contacts, favorite contacts, call log, short menu, regular home page, launcher. They got a time page, agenda. Full weather page. You see, it's no lag whatsoever. This is not froze once on me. And also, if you just want to switch to your professional mode, you just swipe up. Bam. You got a simpler, customized one page uh, layout instead of having a multiple pages. Swipe back down, get back to your regular. What else on here? I'm going to show you a few apps I got on here. Of course, you ain't going to find it on the market. You know, you got to utilize Google search. There's a bunch of apps out there for you. First and foremost, you probably should download this O Market. It's an alternative market. They got a bunch more, probably double the apps they got on the Windows Media Player. I mean, Windows Market Marketplace. Click that to log in. This is called O Market. You can download it. Well, first you gotta go register on www.freewarepocketpc.com. Once you register on there, you can download the O Market app and then sign in on there. Something wrong with the app, it won't let you register from the phone, but just register on the website. You got a whole new world of applications in here. Bunch of games, Bunch of just cool apps, document readers, sports apps, music. Click on most popular, what's new, featured. So this is definitely a must if you own the HD2. Go get O Market. That's what it's called. Freewarepocketpc.net. Let's back out of there. And I got some random games on here. I got Zuma or whatever this is called. I'm sure y'all remember this game somehow. I think it's like a popular Yahoo game or something.
that's pretty cool right there. What else? I got a, um, of course, Opera. You definitely should go get the Opera 10 for pocket PCs. You can just go to the website. I think OperaMobile.com. Or go to some on your phone. You should be able to download it. I think you got to go to it from Internet Explorer. I'm not sure if you can go to it from the built-in Opera to download the new version. But it's Opera 10, not the Opera 5 Mini. So don't get the Opera Mini if you got the HD2. Other than that, here goes some more widgets, wireless manager. You can turn everything on or off, flight mode, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. I just downloaded this cool-ass piano app. I got it about 20 minutes ago. It's smooth, man. I feel like I'm on a real piano. I think got a record function up there. You can record a few different tracks at the same time. I haven't had too much time to play around with it yet, though. Let's see. I got a... Uh, this app is a must, too. It's called Alakwa. A-L-O-Q-A. I can't even remember where I got it from. But it's like an app like an all-in-one app like if you had android it's like where or on the iphone it just basically is like a app where you can find restaurants order food find hotels in your area atms shopping centers fast food and if you're even looking for some singles some some women or some guys to meet they got a, a link here you could click meet people in your area show you the pictures the profiles it's pretty cool but uh we can click restaurants and it actually loads the yelp you know yelp reviews and the yelp uh information so if you're looking for a yelp app on the hd2 just get this app let me click a restaurant uh show you the restaurant phone number just keep scrolling over show you other restaurants Click on it, see Yelp reviews, or to show it on a map. Let's see a few reviews. Let's see, load up smooth. So, if you was looking for a Yelp app, this is the best alternative. Actually, this is better than the Yelp app I had on my Android phone. So, definitely should look into this. It's called L O Q A. It might be in a uh, old market. I'm not sure really where I got it from. But yeah, they got a bunch of stuff. Last FM, movie, ticket thing, hotels. They got a thing we can actually order food from the app. It's it's pretty damn cool. Also, I got this Cascade thing on here. It's pretty. You really don't need a task manager. I set mine at a talk button. I just hold the talk button down. Then you see my task manager pop up. I can just go to click to go to any app. Hold it again. Or I can hold on the app if I want to close it out. Let's see. Close all that out. Then just tap on one. Bam. That's the task manager. Close it out nice and easy. Also, go get the Skyfire browser. You can find that. I think you can find that in the regular Windows Marketplace. The browser is called Skyfire. It got Flash, full Flash built in. So, if you're looking to play some Flash videos, you definitely need to get Skyfire. Other than that, I just got a bunch of games. 3D, mini golf, teeter, spin ball. I just got a bunch of random apps on here. If you need some help, though, leave me a message. Not a comment, but a message.